Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Newt Bueller, Republican candidate for governor as well as a state representative. Good to see you. Thanks for being nice here. Nice to see you, Craig. So it's been six years since you and I first sat down for one of these uh, Five on Fives. It doesn't uh, seem like that one. <laughs> time flies, right? So uh, eventually you, you lost that race to Secretary of State yeah. uh, Kate Brown. How does that first state-level race uh, affect how you approach this one? Yeah, well, you learn a lot, as you can imagine, from that experience. And uh, the most important lesson I learned from that is I really don't like to lose, and I don't intend to do it again. So, so that's important. But I, I took uh, that race seriously and uh, continue to want to serve. So then I ran for the legislature where I've successfully won won two elections, two hard elections in Bend, which has been a good experience. It's been 36 years since Oregon's elected a Republican governor. What makes you think you can break that streak? Yeah, great question. I get asked that uh, a lot, as you can imagine. And uh, I think Nelson Mandela said it best, uh, everything's impossible till it happens. Uh, so uh, we don't see that it's an impossible task. There's a clear path to victory. And our experience in running and winning difficult elections in, in Bend has been good training. Uh, good training because it is a very democratic district that I hold. It's the most democratic district in the entire state uh, that is elected a Republican. So we know how to win in, a, in uh, that kind of environment. It means putting together not just Republicans, but also independents and moderate Democrats to form a new type of coalition that can propel you to victory. And we tend to do that statewide. Interesting. What, what do you say is the most important thing that you learned in your four years as a state representative? Yeah, it's been a wonderful experience representing the people in the city uh, of Bend. Uh, and I've really had a, a front row seat uh, in, in the legislature, front row seat to really the mismanagement of the state of Oregon, the mismanagement of the state of Oregon by Governor Brown, uh, really a, a failure in leadership. Uh, overall, the Brown administration has been a series of really uh, big, big mistakes in terms of the Oregon Health Authority, in terms of administering important state programs and it's time to solve these big problems and, and put some confidence back in how we're going to deliver these services in the state of Oregon. You describe yourself as pro-choice. You've I criticized mean, President Trump and earned the ire of some gun rights activists when you voted to close the so-called boyfriend loophole. Uh, that's led some to say that you're not a conservative. How do you react to that? Yeah, I, I reject all those kinds of uh, labels, Craig. I think those labels increasingly divide us and, and importantly, uh, don't describe any of us very well. So I'm very fiscally conservative, but I'm also an independent-minded person. I like to lead with a, an open mind, a caring heart, and a thoughtful voice. And I take the issues based on, on what I think is best, what I think is best for every Oregonian, no matter uh, who you are, where you live, or even what party you're registered to vote in. And uh, so I will, I will, you know, if necessary, if, if I think my party is, is wrong, I'll, I'll make an independent decision. And you mentioned some of them, which I think my party has gotten off track a little bit. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial okay. break. Sure. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Republican candidate for governor and state representative Newt Bueller. Uh, I want to ask you about PERS. Huge problem sure. in Oregon. As governor, how would you fix it? Yeah, great question. It's the 900-pound grill in Oregon politics that really has to be fixed because it is eating revenue that should be going to our kids or to providing health care, to transportation infrastructure. It's a problem that has to be fixed. It, it, it is uh, a moral imperative. It, it, it really is a moral imperative for, for loyal public employees who uh, are depending on those dollars and also for kids who don't have the high-quality schools that I'd like to, to see. This is what I would do as governor. I will not sign a single new spending bill until I have a PERS reform bill on my desk. And here are some of the features I want to see in that bill. Uh, we need to end the bloody payouts or the $50,000 a month payouts that we see right now. Cap it at about $150,000 a year. Second thing I'd like to see is uh, public employees need to pay into their own retirement plan. Uh, uh, and third, we need to actually bring PERS to an end. People who have had uh, their liabilities uh, generated, we need to honor those. So uh, past uh, contracts need to be honored. But going forward, everyone's transitioned over to a more typical 401k plan. Now, those things will save uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, put money back into the schools and important social services. Uh, it, it is a, it's a, a vital problem that needs to be fixed. And unfortunately, Governor Brown has ignored it for uh, her entire time in, in Salem, and it needs to be fixed. I'm sure you're familiar with the term two Oregons. There's the Portland Willamette Valley and the rest of the state you're from, you represent, Eastern Oregon, you're in Southern Oregon right now. How do you work 
to convince the Portland market, the, you know, the independents there as much as anybody else, to vote Republican. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think certainly we have experience. I represent Bend, which is you know, a very democratic city now. We have uh, good experience in, in talking to independent voters and importantly even democratic voters about issues that they really care about, uh, housing, health care, uh, uh, homelessness. Uh, those are issues that transcend party divisions. Uh, there's solutions to those uh, and people want solutions to those problems no matter if you're Republican or, or Democrat. And I'll clearly lead on those issues where Governor Brown has failed over her last four years as governor. It's time to fix the, these, big, these types of big problems that have been avoided, ignored, and made a lot worse by Governor Brown the last three years. I know how busy you are. Appreciate you coming yeah, back. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot very much. much. Good yep. to see you. Yep. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.